Hey, what's uh, up, man? Dakota. Matt, nice to meet you, buddy. Dakota. Dakota. All right, so here's the deal. What's going on with it? It's not getting any sparks in my spark plugs. Okay, and what was the first codes that you got? Uh, oh, right. It was showing my cam and crankshaft sensor, but I've replaced both of them, and it's still showing up the camshaft sensor, but I don't know what's wrong with it. It's okay. beyond my point. Okay. Pop the engine out there. Pop that. I replaced about every part that I thought. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, man. It sounds like you're a uh, hundred percent. Sounds like your timing. Timing. Yeah. Anytime you get a cam and a crank sensor, um, individually, but especially together, nine times out of ten, it, rel it correlates to the timing itself. These are kind of tricky on getting a, a look at the timing chain because you literally have to remove all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. And a lot of newer vehicles, you can just pop that cover off, and it's right there. Yeah. This thing's a bit tricky. Well, yeah. I've replaced about just everything. I've replaced the, the ignition right here. This part, I've replaced the ECM. I've replaced all the Damn, time. dude. <laughs> I'm just be honest one. I'm like, I don't know what else to do. Dang, oh. So, does it try to start or? It, it turns over. Fuel pumps do it too. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it chiming up. Let's get a look at. So, I'm going to pull up your. So, I'll pull, pull up your uh, cam and your crank sensor and I'll see if they're correlated with each other. Um, and then as we're at least it's trying to crank so yeah uh, you know so here's a big here's a big question too uh, how did this happen like what happened I don't know one day I was just driving with my fiance and my friend and then it just quit running and then I put the code reader on it and it showed the camshaft sensor and so in the parking lot of a, a gun shop we uh, went to O'Reilly's and I bought the camshaft sensor to replace it and then it ran and then it just went out again and so I had a tote here and then it just had the same problem ever since. Okay. I've also had a lot of other people recommend you too. Oh uh, that's what's up dude. I've called a lot of other places too just for a diagnostic you're the cheapest person too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it was weird I drove to Florida and then got back and then I serviced it did oil change spark plugs ignition coils the most common you know and then yeah it ran perfect like amazing for about a month and then I just went to shit. I learned the hard way that I needed a good, I needed a good scanner. As I seen your code reader on TikTok, I was like, I didn't use code reader. I'll just hire him. <laughs> At first, I, I thought it was the ECM too, because the ECM sends a signal to my spark plugs. That's what I was reading up on and everything. So yeah. I replaced it, and then I got a program to my VIN, and then everybody was telling me that my ignition switch needed to be programmed to the ECM again, but then my key doesn't have a chip in it. Yeah. So, like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I'm trying to individually test your camshaft and your crankshaft. Sometimes it takes me a second to find it in my scanner. But if I can get... Alright, here's your crank sensor. I found it. Now here's your cam. Dead. See that? Yep. So, let me take a look. The cam sensor, if you replaced it and it's still showing zero, then that means that the cam's not spinning. So. And this one, it's a bit tricky. I mean, you could, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll help you if, you if you're fucking into it or if you wanted me to do it completely, I'll do it for you. But this isn't, it's not relatively too hard. Um, it's just got to take off a lot of stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, and when, and when it comes to timing, it, it gets, it gets scary, but man, as long as you just, as long as you put everything in its position, dude, my first like three time and chains, man, I shit you not. I was the whole time. I was like, Oh good. You know what I mean? And then pulling that grenade pin, man, it just like, I'm like my heart. And then especially trying to crank it afterward. But then after, you know, after doing a couple and you're like, you're, you're confident in it. It's, you know, so it's nothing man it's it's really nothing i mean we can i'll help you do it if you wanted to do it or i can do it completely it's up to you but it's gonna be yeah it'll be a timing situation i am gonna look at i do want to look at, i'm gonna grab my flashlight because i do want to look at the wiring obviously it looked from underneath there it looked good it looked solid it was for sure plugged in and it wasn't stripped or nothing yeah from your plug to your loom is all straight yeah that's what i thought too maybe it could have just been a wire or 
a ground knot connected or something. Yeah. So I was, I was in and out of my motor for about three hours just looking for ground wires. And yeah. Just, like made sure all of them were. That's smart, man, because that's where you for sure want to check is all the wiring on it. Yeah. I was, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't really thinking it was wiring because I'm getting a sig, I'm getting a signal from it. It's just not, it's not turning. Camshaft's not turning. And relatively, man, if I don't, if it's dead, if like I unplug it, or if their wires are cut on that, it'll just tell me on that no signal. From but shit, if you wanted to learn or something, I mean, I could show you. That ain't nothing. Yeah, I mean, you can tell you've been doing some work to this thing. You even put new terminals on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was just trying to figure every yeah. step by step, just kind of to cancel everything out. I figured kind of it was going to come down to timing, but I just yeah. wanted to be normally sure. yeah normally man anytime you get a cam and a crank you can most definitely guarantee it's going to be timing i mean unless you just have a severe wiring issue you know what I'm then i'll go order a new uh timing chain and if i can't figure it out myself and then i'll give you another call and then have you yeah man and it. even here's the deal dude it, even if you're like if you pull it all off and you get to a point where you're like feeling unconfident man just give me a shot and i'll run out here and at least at least help you because like i said dude you can i'm confident that you can do it if you really wanted to because yeah. seeing after everything you've done because those sensors are a pain in the ass to replace yeah. so after seeing all that and you're, you did your own tune-up on it so i'm confident you can do it but if you have if you get stumped at any time bro just give me a call you know what okay. i mean just make sure you follow those timing marks that's the most important thing and okay. as long as they're timed good then or timed exactly on the money then you're straight but all right, brother, I'm gonna head out of here. No problem, man. Call me if you need me, man. What a great kid, huh? What a great kid. He had a big old smile as soon as he opened the door and it literally just made me laugh. Like, cause I was just like, man, you freaking are happy, huh? But that, that type of stuff, just good energy like that just puts you in a good mood and gives you good energy, energy as well. Yeah. That's why I was like, man, if you got any problems, just holler at me. I know we can do it. I've done like three or four of those Jeeps and they're honestly, that's probably one of the easiest ones. Like I said, it's just bull crap cause you gotta take off a whole bunch of stuff um but again hopefully he didn't damage anything it doesn't sound like he damaged anything but um i didn't do a thorough check on all that you know i didn't do a bore scope or any of that stuff i was kind of just going out there to give him an idea of what the hell the problem is after i'm sure you've heard everything that he has done i don't want to hear it in the comments because i already know that there's a lot there's a ton more that i could have done in signs of uh you know investigating and detecting on what the hell the problem is but now that's not to say he didn't damage a valve or anything like that because those are internal or interface yeah, those are interference engines, so that could, that could be a possibility. But um, again, guys, the diagnosis price wasn't there for me to do all that. You know what I mean? Before scope and then start removing things. Um, we were on a budget, more or less, as you can tell. The freaking funds were really spent up. All right, since I made this video, now I'm just getting around to, po to editing it to post it. Now he's done a few things to the vehicle. He's got the front timing cover off, the harmonic balancer off. He sent me a couple pictures. So now all he has to do is remove the valve covers and then put everything uh, where it's supposed to be timed and then double check and make sure that his cams are timed properly. My theory is that if that left cam just either isn't rotating at all um, or it's completely separated from the chain. Um, or if, I'm not sure if that's a phaser or not, but if it is a phaser, sometimes those phasers can go out and then they can just spin without moving the camshaft at all. So I do believe it is a cam phaser. I'd have to double check into that. Um, but that would, that's his next step is just double checking everything and make sure, making sure that his valves are moving and that is, uh, everything is timed properly. Um, and then after, you know, that's verified and then he, we can take the next step. But he is keeping me informed. So as soon as he gets there, he's going to give me a shout and then I'll, I'll show you guys. We'll go out there and then uh, we'll double check everything. I'll show you how to check everything. And uh, I mean, kudos to this guy. That's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie to you. He's done a fuel pump editing this video. I didn't realize everything. He did a fuel pump. He did spark plugs, a full tune up. Uh, injectors he did an ECM he freaking did an ignition I mean that's quite that's a lot of stuff to do but it's pretty impressive as well especially just being straight self-taught you know you gotta you know he had to YouTube a lot of that shit and I mean that's again that's just impressive